Yeah, they dress up okay. <laughs> uh, we wanted to say just a few words. Uh, first off, I'd like to uh, acknowledge the fact that uh, this is Sally Davis's last shift. And uh, earlier in the week, I acknowledged that she had had 400 shifts, more than 400 shifts, which was more than any other ISS flight director. And so we're uh, not only very pleased that we were happy to have her as the lead uh, for this particular mission, but also for all those other shifts that she's pulled over the years. Um, unfortunately for us, I guess, she's leaving, but only going a short distance and going to work in the shuttle office. And so we're happy to have her expertise around, although we will definitely miss her in the flight control room. And uh, Steve wanted to say a few words, too. We were lucky enough to have uh, Sally as our lead station flight director. Uh, we were privileged to have her uh, as our lead. Uh, she did a tremendous job for the crew, making sure that we had everything we needed to train properly, that the procedures were in place, and that uh, we dealt with anything that came up uh, during the preparation of the flight and during the execution of the flight. So uh, the success that we've been able to have and the, the fact that Columbus is over here successfully activated and outfitted and uh, virtually ready for, for science, I think, is due to Sally. So we really appreciated her efforts, and it was a, a pleasure and a treat to train and fly with her. And also on this mission, we had uh, some important uh, transfer and return items. They were listed off, uh, and they asked if it would be okay if I switch out uh, Dan Tawney for Leo Iharts, and so today we're shifting uh, our command or our uh, uh, transferring the reins of the flight engineer from uh, Dan to Leo, and uh, Dan has done a phenomenal job over the last several months. He was here a few months more than he had originally planned on, but he's really made up for it and done an incredible job while he was here. And Leo, we're looking forward to his expertise in the Columbus module and uh, a very busy next month or two coming up for him. So we are looking forward to the future, and we really have appreciated Dan's help in the past. I just had a few things I wanted to say. Um, today I feel uh, very optimistic about, uh, about our program and about the world and everything. It's a, it's a great day for me. Uh, and I just wanted to share one, uh, two thoughts. One was uh, a few days ago during the EVA, uh, I grabbed the IDEF camera and I thought I'd show, uh, shoot from end to end and uh, since I had a, a little bit of a break. So I went up to the flight deck and there was Dex running the EVA with, with uh, Rex and Hans outside doing an EVA. I could see him out the window. It was incredibly cool. Came back uh, through the mid-deck, came into the Node 2, looked over, and there's uh, uh, Leo working the uh, uh, in the Columbus module. And then I go and uh, I pass the robotic core station and there's uh, Leland and Stan running the arm. And then I pass through the node one, and uh, Peggy is working out uh, on the exercise equipment. And I go to the SM, and Yuri's doing a science experiment. So we were doing robotics, EA, exercise, um, and uh, science um, all at the same time. And I was goofing off, uh, taking, <laughs> taking the movies. But we were doing all of those at the same time uh, in space, which is exactly like those movies they used to show you about 25 years ago about how we're going to live in space. It was almost like a promotional video, and it was uh, phenomenal. And I thought, we're, we're almost there. We're doing science. We're building huge construction projects. We're doing EVAs. I, I'm not going to say routinely, but we've done, a, I don't know, a dozen or so in the last year. It's just amazing. So uh, I feel very optimistic about our future as a, as a space program and as a society because I'm here, I've, I've spent time with uh, a man, uh, man from France and uh, uh, from Italy and from Germany and from Russia and uh, 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 nations that uh, had not always been friendly are now cooperating, cooperating and we're doing great things. So uh, that was the first thing I was thinking about today. The other thing I was thinking about today was women and that's it, been a very big topic on this flight because uh, when I flew up, there were two women commanders, and for whatever reason, that was huge news. And the, the unspoken news there is that they were both fantastically great uh, commanders, and uh, it was a privilege to, to fly with both of them. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about today was my mother, uh, my inspiration, and of course, uh, my job is easy compared to my wife's. Uh, Jane's the love of my life, and 
and she had the hard work while I was having fun. So I can't wait to get back to her and my two little girls. So uh, we were toasting. If we were in Russia, <laughs> this would be the third toast. This is the toast for the women of our, uh, in our lives, and uh, uh, I've enjoyed uh, all my time here and can't wait to get back to show you all my pictures and videos. So thank you so much for uh, all your help on the ground, and uh, uh, really, uh, we couldn't have done it without you, and uh, we're doing magnificent things up here, and it's not us, of course, we're just the tip. So uh, it's the, the solid foundation that uh, everybody on the ground uh, provides for us and uh, makes us look good. Thank you very much. I'd like to say that Dan is a great guy. Um, I've been very impressed by the experience uh, he, he uh, acquired here in, this, in the space station. It was really a pleasure and an honor to, be, to receive the handover for him, and uh, I hope that in a few weeks uh, we'll be able to do 100 of uh, what he's able to do today, so uh, in all aspects and uh, also from a human standpoint. So uh, I'm looking forward for, to be a part of Expedition 16. Well, for the shuttle crew of uh, Atlantis uh, SGS-122, uh, it was our privilege to bring Leo up to his, his new home until he gets a chance to uh, work more in the Columbus module and uh, finally go home to uh, his wife Dominique and his family. And it's very, very much our privilege to take Dan home after such a long stay up here and so much hard work. Uh, we're looking forward to a very short rest of the flight and a successful landing at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, it's been an amazing experience for us. Uh, it's been my second visit to the space station along with Rex. So we were here a number of years ago. Uh, it's an amazing place. It's vastly different than it was when we were up here, up here. much much larger, much more capability. And uh, we were very privileged to be able to bring up the European Columbus Laboratory module. And uh, we're incredibly excited to see it right on our, our left over there uh, with the lights on and, and ready for action. So Peggy, thanks very much for being our host. Uh, we, we raced as hard as we could to try to keep up with you. And now we need to go take a rest. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been great having you here. Hey, guys, this is Sally. Thanks for the words. It's great to see so many Capcoms turn into a great flown crew. Thanks very much, Sally. We look forward to seeing you in just a couple of days in Houston.